everybody, so today's video is gonna be a discussion video. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I've been wanting to do this one because it's been bugging me, and I feel like I have to talk about it. So we're gonna talk about it today. Um, today's video is gonna be about book haul pressure. And if you don't know what I mean by that, I mean pressure to do book hauls. I was talking to a couple of my booktube friends, and they were talking about how they feel book haul pressure. They feel pressure to do book hauls because those are the only things that people watch. And it kind of just irritated me a little bit, and it made me feel really, really bad because I don't feel like people need to force themselves to go buy books in order to um, keep their channel alive. And um, it kind of was just irritating to think that, is that the only thing that people do watch? I mean, not everybody, but that's the most viewed thing. If you think about it, it's the most viewed thing is our book hauls. And I just, I kind of wanted to talk about today. This is probably gonna be a really short video because I just kind of wanted to get this out and I wanted to ask you guys if, how you feel about this. Um, and if you are a booktuber, do you ever feel pressure to do book hauls? And so, yeah. So below in the comments, let me know or do your own discussion video talking about this and we can maybe get this going because it made me feel really bad that they were feeling pressure to go out and buy books. And one of them was like, I don't even have money, but I'm going and spending like $50 that I really need for something else on books so that I can keep my channel going. And I'm like, wow, that is just really, really messed up. And I also wanted to bring this up. If you are a booktuber and you do sometimes feel book haul pressure, one of the things that I can help you with is the library. The library. Go to the library. They're free books. If you check them out and you don't really want to read them, a week later you can take them back. Um, you don't have to go and buy a hundred dollars worth of books and then freak out because some of them you end up not wanting to read or they stay on your shelf forever. The reason why I bring that up is because I do, my, most of my book hauls are um, library hauls pretty much. I don't really buy books that often and that's why I um, I don't feel that pressure. Some, sometimes I do sort of feel like pressure like okay I have to do a book haul. But it doesn't get to the point where I feel like I have to go spend money that I cannot spend on books in order to um, please people. So I don't know, um, I mean this discussion is probably all over the place because I'm just trying to get through this. I did not write any of this down so it's probably just mumble jumble. But let me know what you guys think down below. If you're a booktuber, how do you feel about this? And I, it's okay I asked my booktube friends if I could talk about this. I mean I'm not bringing up their names but um, they said that it was fine that I talk about it. Comment below and I can't wait to respond and have a big discussion with everybody and if you um, want to you can spread this video on Twitter Facebook wherever and we can get a big discussion going so maybe we can help people feel better about their book hauls and not feeling a giant amount of pressure to do them so um, yeah I'll see you guys next time okay bye